All right, this is part two of uh, chapter 2.2, density curves and um, normal distributions. Um, so take a second and read about normal calculations on page 118 to 121. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through some examples on how to calculate um, percentages um, and proportions through um, our uh, normal curves and Z tables. So our first question is, according to the CDC, the heights of 12-year-old males are approximately normally distributed with a mean of 149 and a standard deviation of 9 centimeters. What percent of 12-year-old males are less than 160 centimeters tall? So the three things that we want to do is one, state our distributions and draw our curve, two, our calculations, and three, we want to make sure we answer the question. So first I'm going to draw my curve. Notice how I have 149 as my mean, and then um, my standard deviation on both sides is 9 centimeters. So it's asking me what percent of 12-year-old males are less than 160 centimeters tall. So notice how 160 doesn't necessarily fall on my standard deviation. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to find the z-score using my raw score of 160. So I go 160 minus 149 over 9, and I get 1.22. So in order for me to find the percent, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use a z-table. So on my z-table, I look at 1.2 and two, and in the corner, I have zero point, sorry, uh, 0 0.8888. So my Z table gives me 0 0.8888. And because it's to the left, it's 88%. 88% of 12 year old males are less than 160 centimeters tall. And when you do this, look at it, see if it does make, um, does make sense. Does it look like I have about 88% of my graph shaded? Yeah. What percent of 12-year-old males are greater than 145 centimeters tall? So again, I start with my chart. 145 is not a standard deviation. So I'm going to have to find my z-score again. So I take 145, subtract 149, divide it by my standard deviation, and I get negative 0.44. I use my z-score uh, z table again, negative 4 and 4, and I get 0.32997. So I round it up to about 0.33. My z-table says 0 0.33. And notice how this time I'm shading to the right. So I'm going to take a, um, 1 and subtract my number from my z-table. I get 0 0.67, which makes it 67%. So 67% of 12-year-old males are greater than 145 centimeters tall. What percent of 12-year-old males are greater than 190 centimeters tall? So when I make my table for this one, or I make my, um, my normal curve, notice how 176 is already three standard deviations from my mean. So whatever this percent is, it's going to be very small. So I take my z-score. 190 minus 149 divided by 9, and I get 4.5. Looking at my Z table, 3.4 is 0.9998. So I used a higher Z table, and I got 0 0.9999997. Since I'm shading on the right, I subtract from 1, and I get 0 0.00000003. So this gives me the very small percentage of 0.00003% of 12-year-old males are greater than 190 centimeters tall. Next, we're going to find out what percent of 12-year-old males are between 140 and 160 centimeters tall. I go ahead and I graph it on my normal distribution. Now, 140, I already have is one standard devi deviation of below the mean. However, 160 is a little bit over one standard deviation above. So I find the z-score for both. Now I go ahead and I do it on my table. And for my um, 1.22, I get 0 0.88888. 
And then for negative 1, I have 0 0.15866. I find the difference between these, and it gives me 73%. 73% of 12-year-old males are between 140 and 160 centimeters tall. Now, what is the 85th percentile of heights for 12-year-old males? So if I go to my z-score table and I look for 85%, the closest z-score is 1.04. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to set 1.04 as my z-score and solve for my raw score to find out what number constitutes as that percentile. I solve for x and I get 158. So 158 centimeters tall is the 85th percentile of heights for 12-year-old males. Now I'm going to find the value of quarter one. Now remember, quarter one is the 25th percentile. So again, I look for the number that is closest to 25. And the z-score for that is negative 0.67. So using that, I'm going to solve for x. The quarter one, sorry, the quartile one for 12-year-old males is 142 centimeters. Here's another example. In, recent tenant, in a recent tennis tournament, Rafael Nadal averaged 115 miles per hour on his first serves. Assume that the distribution of his first serve speeds is approximately normal with a mean of 115 miles per hour and a standard deviation of 6 miles per hour. About what proportion of his first serves would you expect to be slower than 103 centimeters per hour? All right, now be really careful because this one is asking you what proportion of his first serves. It's not asking you for a percent. So I start by drawing my curve. Now notice how I have 103 here. So 103 constitutes as a standard deviation, two standard deviations away from my mean. So all I have to do is subtract that 95% divided by 2, and I get 0 0.025. About what proportion of his first serves would you expect to exceed 120 miles per hour? So this time I'm exceeding, so I'm shading to the right, which means I'm going to subtract this from 1. So first I find my z-score. Then I plug it into the Z table and I see where 0.83 is, which is at 0 0.7967. I subtract it from 1 because it's, on, it's shading the right side of the table and I get 0 0.2033. What percent of Rafael Nadal's first serves are between 100 and 110 miles per hour? So again, what I do is I mark 100 and 110 on my curve. I find the z-score for both. I find the difference um, from the numbers from the z-table, and that difference I write as a percent because the question is asking me what percent of his first serves are between 100 and 110 miles per hour. The fastest 30% of Nadal's first serves go at least what speed? Well, I know that my mean is 115, my standard deviation is 6, and then the fastest 30 means that he is going um, and performing at the 70th percentile. So I look at the table and I look to see what is closest to 70%, and so I get 0.6985, and the Z score for that is 0 0.52. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in 0 0.52 and solve for x. A different player has a standard deviation of 8 miles per hour on his first serves and 20% of his serves go less than 100 miles per hour. If the distribution of his serve speed is approximately normal, what is his average first feet speed? So this time, I need to find out what my, um, what my mean is. I know what my standard deviation, I know what my raw score is, and I know that he's in the 20th percentile. So at first, I find my areas closest to 20, um, which is 0 0.2005. So the z-score is negative 0.84. So 
So here's where I solve for my mean. And I get 106.72. So the fastest 30% of his serves go at least 118 miles per hour. What is the standard normal uh, distribution? The standard normal distribution is a normal distribution that has been standardized. All observations are converted to z-scores. If you see up at top where you have the n with the mu comma um, sigma, that's kind of like the, the standard form of normal distributions. So in any normal distribution, quarter one is how many standard, standard deviations below the mean? Well, since quarter one is in the 